The Clark Fork Coalition was created in 1985 to protect western Montana's Clark Fork River. At that time, a local pulp mill wanted to dump highly toxic waste directly into the river year-round. Rather than protest, we sat down with the mill owners and hammered out a solution using the same science-based, community-grounded, and river-focused approach that defines our work today. The river was also suffering from widespread contamination from 150 years of mining operations. So we expanded our mission to include cleanup and restoration of the watershed. Protecting and restoring the Clark Fork remains our core mission today. We have three current objectives. First, we want to restore flow to dewatered tributaries by helping ranchers and others reduce water use and restore stream banks. Second, we want to remove contamination and prevent pollution by fighting for cleanup and working to keep still healthy rivers clean. Third, we want to expand the circle of care for the river by training citizens about river health. To get there, we need to reach more landowners and implement more restoration projects. We need to amplify our watchdogging efforts and we need to reach more people in rural areas where restoration needs are especially critical. The hallmark of the coalition's success has been our strategic integration of science, community involvement, and unwavering commitment to a healthy restored watershed. We don't obstruct or disrupt, we work with people to improve projects that might otherwise hurt the river and steer policies to protect clean water. We work in rural and urban areas with agricultural producers and conservationists, with mining companies and water protection groups. Restoring the river takes all of us, so we make sure our work is informed by a diversity of voices and driven by hard work, smart planning, and a deep passion for clean water. In short, we know how to get it done. We start with a laser focus on our mission, then figure out the best way to deliver what's needed. When the paper mill threatened the river, we brokered a solution. When an aging dam contaminated water supplies, we found a way to remove it. Where mine waste and lack of water threaten ecosystems and communities, we're rewatering creeks and implementing a world-class, large-scale watershed restoration. We have the expertise to identify threats the creativity to craft solutions, and a steadfast commitment to doing it right. You could measure our success by the numbers. Miles of stream bank restored, gallons of water returned, tons of pollution removed, thousands of people reached. Those metrics are certainly important. But the real measure of progress? It's a river that once ran red transformed into a community focal point, a gathering place to celebrate, play, and be renewed. It's a free-flowing confluence, a new public park where a dam once trapped toxic waste. Ultimately, it's the return of a river from the brink, the rejuvenation of local communities, and a growing commitment to settle for nothing less than clean water. Many are surprised that the Clark Fork Coalition co-owns a working cattle ranch. That's not mission creep, it's a strategic decision to learn as much as possible about how mine waste cleanup impacts agricultural operations. The most intensive cleanup in the watershed will take place on working ranch lands. How will removing contaminated soils and rebuilding riverbanks impact them? Our ranch is in the middle of the cleanup zone, so we'll find out. Then we'll pass along lessons learned to our neighbors. Cleanup cannot succeed for the river unless it also works for the communities along its banks. Thanks to great partners, generous supporters, and a lot of hard work, the coalition has enjoyed some major successes. We removed a 100-year-old dam and restored the confluence of two great rivers. We secured a settlement to clean up and restore an entire river system. We've returned billions of gallons to dewatered tributaries and restored hundreds of miles of stream banks. 
And we've educated thousands of youth, professionals, businesses, agencies, elected officials, and others throughout the watershed so that more people are actively engaged in caring for the Clark Fork now than at any time in its history. In 1985, the Clark Fork was essentially an industrial dumping ground. Communities turned their backs on it, and no one made clean water a priority. The river ran red with pollutants, fish died, and it was filled with every kind of waste and debris imaginable. Agencies didn't act, regulations were non-existent, and people generally didn't care. The coalition had to generate watershed-wide momentum to not only protect the river, but to clean it up and restore it. Fostering a shared vision for a healthy river takes time, trust building, listening and understanding. And the good news is, we're well on our way. With additional resources, the coalition could restore water to more chronically dewatered creeks and remove pollution from more miles of stream bank. The Clark Fork Basin spans 14 million acres and has 28,000 miles of tributaries. Mine waste, overuse, degradation, weeds, dewatering, and pollution affect nearly every waterway in the system. But we're only reaching a tiny fraction of even the highest priority drainages. Meanwhile, a warmer climate and growing population are creating new threats. Restoration has resulted in dramatic improvements where we've been able to implement it. But thousands of miles of streams still need our help. Each year, 900 miles of streams in western Montana either run out of water entirely or get so low they cannot support fish. And our record-setting hot summers just keep coming. There's still mine pollution, and toxic waste from the same pulp mill that sparked us into being is still showing up in our river and fish. A resurgent mining industry is eyeing Montana once again, and booming development is posing serious threats to our rivers. Sure, we face some gaps, but with your help, we can ensure there's clean water in the Clark Fork for generations to come.